terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. Headline, shocking headline, Sound of Freedom, the movie. Yeah. Have you seen it? No. No, no I want to. I, we've just been super busy. Uh, I think we're probably going to do it this coming weekend. Sound of Freedom expected to break $100 million in gross receipts in second box office weekend. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. It's on pace right now to finish this weekend at $81 million and to break the $100 million in gross receipts. Uh, shocking box office success, they say. And just some of the stats on it, especially as it's picked up steam in the last week, Sound of Freedom continues to beat Sony Pictures' Insidious, The Red Door, overall, in addition to besting Disney's latest Indiana Jones on a daily basis for nearly a week now. Yeah. So this is just... Um, unbelievable. The mainstream media, this is the weirdest part, is freaking out over this yeah, movie. They they, they do not want you to see no. it. And that is so strange. Well, they deny that there's the that what the the subject of the movie even exists. Right. Never mind that they themselves reported that it yes, exists. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> this is New York Times, where we had a whole congressional yeah. hearing. Uh, eighty five thousand kids are missing. Yeah. And we had a whole congressional hearing because one of the volunteers who worked in the Department of Homeland Security reunification station was horrified uh, because she says the same cartel and gang members keep coming to pick up kids. Those kids are only supposed to be given to family members. That's it. It's reunification. And yet she's saying there's no way these guys are family members. They're showing up every other week to pick up a different kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm the cousin, uncle, aunt, whatever. Uh, and they're not. And she began to suspect that they are being sold, sex trafficked, or something really bad was going on. So here, here's, okay, let, let's take this part a little the mainstream media uh, from this, from CNN to Washington Post now has reported, including Salon, oh, this is a QAnon conspiracy. Yeah. Okay, here's the problem with that. It's really easy to tear this apart with facts. Um, this movie was completed in 2018. A lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. It was shelved because Disney didn't want it out there yeah. for whatever reason. They'd rather make woke things that fail, that groom children, rather than actually showing you what happens with sex trafficked children. Um, so they, they, they shelved it. It was complete in 2017, the QAnon, I mean, in 2018, um, and put on the shelf, the QAnon conspiracy would not emerge until late 2017. The film had almost completed filming at that point, which means it's been written. Um, all of the work on it was done before the QAnon conspiracy even began. There's an overlap of a few months. But there, there's no way. I mean, the script was done. The yeah. filming was largely complete at that point. It's not a QAnon conspiracy. And when you go back and you look um, at, you know, just a few years ago when child trafficking was something we could, the two parties could agree on, child trafficking for sex was a bad thing. I'm going to get into that in a minute. Um, even you, I mean, you even had CBS doing reporting on it, Lee, where, um, they praised the guy, Tim Ballard, yeah. who was the subject of this. And now they're pretending he's some nut. Yeah. But that's, I mean, that is just pretend. That's what happens when the narrative changes. Yeah, no, exactly. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terra Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.